So, $3,000 and we can't get VRR working after eight months. 60% of the time, it works every time. All right, TechnoFam, here we go again with the same lesson. Do not, and I repeat, do not buy a piece of AV gear, whether it's an AVR or a TV, when the manufacturer promises features via a firmware update. Okay, that here we are again. With that said, let's get the Yamaha A8A updated. Now, I have not been getting any OTA updates. OTA stands for over the air with this Yamaha AVR for some reason, but let's just check. First, we need to go see what firmware we are on and if there are any updates. So to do that, we need to press the setup button on the remote. That brings up this menu here and we need to scroll down to system, then scroll all the way down and select firmware update. Here's a little hack, you can just go up and then you'll be right there. As you can see, I'm still on version 1.10 and the network update option is grayed out. But what the heck, let's just try it. And clicking on network update brings up not available. Now this is really odd as back when the Oro 3D update became available, both people from Yamaha and Oro 3D were telling me that OTA updates should be working just fine, but it looks like OTA updates are still not working with this specific AVR, so let's go online and find the update. All right, so here is the web page that has firmware 1.65 to download. I will have a link in the description for you. As you can see, this update 1.65 gives you 8K60, 4K120, and HDR10 Plus support. And the update applies for the A4A, A6A, and A8A, which is what I'm using for today's video. So we have to agree to the terms to be able to download the file. So let's do that and get this file downloaded. I extracted the zip file, which left me with the .bin file which I placed on a thumb drive by itself for the update in the root directory. So the next thing to do was put the USB drive in the front USB port on the A8A. Next, tap the menu connect on the front panel all the way to the right, then turn the knob above to settings and push the knob in. Scroll down to firmware update, then scroll and select USB update, then scroll and select execute. Now we wait for the AVR to start updating. It gets to the verifying stage and it finally ends in not found. Great, fantastic. Now I tried this a couple of times and then I thought of flashing the USB drive to a different format. I originally had the thumb drive set up as Microsoft NTFS, so I changed it to MS-DOS FAT32. Once I put the bin file back onto the thumb drive formatted in FAT32, I followed the same steps and we go from verifying to actually updating. I wasted about 30 minutes trying to figure out why the AVR wouldn't see the file. So it would have been great to know which file formatting is needed for the update. So pro tip, if you're doing this update, make sure your thumb drive is formatted at least to FAT32 so the AVR can see what's on the drive or it will not be found. So this update actually takes quite a bit of time. I would say about 20 to 30 minutes, I stopped my camera after about 10 minutes, I was just like, okay, this is just gonna go on for a little while. But once it's done, we get the message, update success, please power off. So we're gonna turn off the AVR, then start it up again. And let's jump into the setup menu and make sure we are on firmer 1.65. Again, to get there, press setup on the remote, go to system, and then firmware update. So it looks like the update is in. We see firmware version 1.65. Now let's go check to see if we get all green check marks on the Xbox Series X 4K TV details page. So to find out what the Xbox can output, we need to go to settings, general, TV and display options, and then move over and select 4K TV details. And here is the first problem. We should be seeing way more green check marks. So that probably means there's a setting in the Yamaha that needs to change. So let's go into the Yamaha menu again, scroll down and select video slash HDMI, scroll down to HDMI video format, and here's what we need to change. As you can see, we are set for 4K mode one, which does not support 4K 120 with HDR. 4K mode two, also not what we need. 8K mode, aha, this is what we need. 4K 120 with HDR support. 
So now that we have 8K mode set for HDMI 1, let's go back and see if we can get the green check marks on the Series X. Here we are, and again, that's general, TV and display options, and 4K TV details. And it's the same thing. Okay, whatever. Let's reset the Xbox and go back in. Maybe that's just the problem. And we're back, and it looks like it's the same thing. So instead of boring you guys with all this footage I have of about an hour trying to get this stupid thing to work, I rebooted the AVR a couple times. I even set all HDMI ports to 8K mode and tried the Xbox Series X into all HDMI ports and it still wasn't getting the green check marks. So after this hour, I was about to give up and I was like, okay, what? Maybe I'll just try the Sony PS5. Why not? Let's try the PS5 and see what happened. So the first time I didn't see anything new or special. So I reset it. The second time around, go into settings, screen and video, and then video output information. And here we get 4K with frequencies up to 120 Hertz with HDR. And we can also see that VRR is not supported. So let's jump back over to the Xbox Series X, but instead of using the Samsung S95B QD OLED, like I was before, let's jump over to the LG C2 OLED so we can see if Dolby Vision Gaming is also supported. Okay, so let's check the 4K TV details page on the Xbox, and well, 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 look at this. We have all green check marks, finally. Why on earth did this take over an hour after the update? Like it should have just worked. The AVR was reset a whole bunch of times. The, the console was set reset a whole bunch of times. And just for those wondering, I did try the Xbox on the Samsung and I get all the green check marks except for Dolby Vision, obviously. Anyway, let's jump into a game. And here we have the Dolby Vision alert in the upper right hand corner of the LG. And when I bring up the game optimizer, and of course there's no VRR, so it's off. And if we go to all settings, we can see picture mode is a Dolby Vision game mode. Okay, so it works. Just not 100%. I got the Yamaha A8A in August, and this update was released eight months later in April. Last time it was Sony with VRR updates to their TVs. Now it's Yamaha with non-existent VRR after waiting eight months and spending like $3,000. So the moral of the story is don't buy electronics unless the feature is already present. Otherwise, you'll spend the money, wait eight months or more for the update, and then the feature can end up being half baked like this is. Well, that's it. That's all. See you in the next video. Peace.